I'm Hugh McLachlan, Professor of Applied Philosophy at Glasgow Caledonian University. I teach and do research in various areas. For instance, medical ethics, look at things like cloning, look at things like a surrogate motherhood. And among research I've done is witchcraft, a computer industries, all sorts of, all sorts of areas a, that, that, that we teach here and do research on. A. Now, a lot of the information available you can get in books, you, you can get on the internet. So you might ask, why would you come here to study sociology, criminology and social policy? Well, one reason is that education is what you get here. And education is not merely the accumulation of information. An educated person is not merely a person who knows a lot. An educated person is not merely a highly trained person. But education involves a systematic understanding of particular areas. It involves an ability to evaluate information, to separate information from misinformation and disinformation. Somebody who's, who isn't bamboozled by, by propaganda. Like for instance, supposing I suggested to you that I could tell you how to increase your chances of winning the lottery by a thousand percent, would you be interested? This is what you do. Instead of buying one ticket, buy 11 tickets. You'll increase your chances of winning by a thousand percent, but you still won't have much chance of winning. Moral. If the story is to be aware of what information actually tells you, be aware of how to evaluate information. Now, an educated person is someone who has something that's worth having for its own sake. Education for its own sake is worth having. In addition, people who are educated are more employable. Educated people get jobs. Now, people who get degrees, for instance, degrees, in social science from Glasgow Caledonian University get jobs, interesting jobs, a whole range of jobs in both the public and the private sector. Now, for instance, among the students I've taught myself, uh, one of them is now an MSP, one of them is an internationally acclaimed film star, uh, another of them is now a pundit talking about football on the radio, on the television and on the radio, having played for Scotland since leaving here. Now, if you come here, I don't say you'll play for Scotland. I don't say you'll end up on the television. I don't say you'll become an MSP. I don't say you'll become an international film star. But you will get an education and a good chance of getting a good job. And I hope to see you here soon.